Hello, good day. My name is Rick Avila, and this is my brother Mike Avila, who is being inducted into the 2002 class of the Water Ski Hall of Fame. Long overdue, I might add. Mike, let's start from the very beginning. When and how did you get started? Well, my father and my mom both were skiers, and uh, I got started out at Clear Lake one day, uh, 10 years old. My dad taught me how to water ski and went off from there. So your dad was probably a major influence on your early career. Absolutely. Probably the biggest driving force uh, in all of my water skiing. As a young boy, when you were first coming into the sport, did you have a hero that you looked up to and aspired to be like, an influence to be uh, better? Oh, absolutely. Um, at a really young age, I met Chuck Stearns, who, uh, in my opinion, is probably the greatest all-around water skier ever. And uh, so he was a big force to always be like. One day I wanted to be like Chuck. And then uh, when I got a little bit older, I was introduced to Lou Arnold, and uh, Lou Arnold was also an emotional person in my life and also an angel on my shoulders all the time. Fantastic. <laughs> Jennifer, congratulations on your Hall of Fame induction. What a fabulous accomplishment, what a fabulous career. The most decorated uh, woman's barefooter in the sport, and it's gotta be a great honor for you to be in the Hall of Fame now. Because actually, I think it's an unreal thing. I never thought something like this would happen to me. Kind of as you go through life and you're skiing, you're only worried about your competition and you never realize that the things you're doing on the water are really going to make a difference you know, ah. outside of your you know, everyday life. Incredible career. Now, you started off when you were four years old in Lake Camelot in Nakusa, Wisconsin. And your mom and dad were the, the yeah. force behind you to get you out there skiing. Yeah, I, you know, I don't know. Uh, I've kind of always been a little bit of a tomboy, and uh, I kind of followed in my brother's footsteps. He had started to learn to ski, and I'm like, well, I can do that. And uh, we had an old Wood Thompson boat with like a Sears and Roebuck like motor on it. I mean, it was actually quite hideous, but um, <laughs> but it was a boat. I got up there and somehow, you know, started to enjoy it, and um, got involved with our local ski club, and things kind of took off from there. Talk about the Shermalot Show Ski Team that kind of got you into show skiing and got you the show ski nationals and yeah you know it was just a, a bunch of kids kind of on the lake and my brother and I used to sit they used to practice right across the lake from us my brother and I used to sit on the dock and just watch them and we're like we could do that we could do that we should be out there and uh, you know I was eight years old and I decided I was going to join the ski club with the, all these like 20 year olds and they really didn't want any you know responsibility taking care of us little babies basically but um, you know they kind of took us under their wing and they taught us a lot of stuff, and uh, in fact, a couple of the members are here tonight, so I appreciate oh, them coming down. Great. Yeah, Rick and Supercoco. 